do you think that they missed about you and your family on the show? Like, I'm because I know there's like a ton of footage that ends up on the the cutting room floor. What do you it's think they important. didn't get? What do you think that they didn't portray accurately about you guys? <sighs> Good question. You know, I don't think there's. It's so difficult to be yourself on that show because you're putting these these certain circumstances that you would never be in, right? Like I would, I just got attacked down in the basement. I'm right. certainly not going to go hang out and, and go get bagels and coffee with you the next day. Right, right, it right. ain't happening. You know, like I'd be like, you're a fucking psycho. I'm, I'm pressing charges against you because you attacked me. You invited me over and then you attacked me. Right. Like, like this is, this is nuts. This is insanity, but you can't, you have to, you have to show up the next day at work. So you're literally sitting, just, it, it just was, it was the real, it was the fakest realist, world alter universe that ever existed so there's no possible i'm not first of all i don't like arguing i don't like fighting so i just don't in like like it actually like everything in me just just ugh, i can't i feel icky inside and it's just not my personality so there's no possible way that that you guys could have ever really seen me because just the very nature of me sitting and arguing with someone and and fighting over the most stupid shit ever was just not me. I'm like, I'm like, I wa- Oh my God. I watched these girls. I, I, I just the recent, um, you know, episode or there was the, um, the end of the season thing where they're sitting down. What is that called? The reunion. The reunion. Yes. I'm like sitting there going like, are these girls serious? Like girls, women don't behave like this. Yeah. This, this is, this is not real. Like, why are they screaming at each other like that? These are supposed to be friends. Friends don't, dream women don't behave like that and that's i mean that's why like i don't think you could ever have gotten a real me because i don't think i could ever act like that i mean i see people flipping tables in restaurants all the time sure they right. do <laughs> no with no repercussions whatsoever like no they're not, not like, at all harder off the scale ever. <laughs> no they they come out of prison with a, a million dollar paycheck ready in the bank for them in a reality show exactly exactly so how did you guys find out that you weren't going to be back for a second season? Did they let you go or you just never got a contract or how did that work? Jim made it very known to them that they were not going to go forward. And they were, there was actually supposed to be a lawsuit that Jim was, Jim, like I, he did a preliminary lawsuit, went into NBC. And then once that happened, they, they were like, not going to go forward with us. We weren't going forward with them. And that was that. I mean, once you start threatening lawsuits and anything like that, it's yeah. pretty much done. If they gave you a really good paycheck to return, would you have come back for a second season? No, Jim, my husband is successful and we don't need that type of, listen, I was, I didn't, I didn't particularly like being infamous as you know, cause those girls are not like, you know, JLo famous. They're infamous. They, right. they have like, they're, they're typecasted in this little world that, uh, you know, it's just, it's just that little world. And I just didn't like the attention that I brought. It, I, it was an awful feeling. I was constantly getting hammered. My life felt like I was, it was, it was just all over the place. And I just didn't, I, I was, I was literally PR's worst nightmare. They'd call up and say, can you be here? Can you be here? I'm like, I'm a homebody. I'm like, yeah. no, <laughs> I got to be home with my kids. I can't do that. It's during the week. I have to take my kids to school. You know, I just, it just wasn't for me. 